So you've just been contracted to host your first red carpet event and you are so nervous because you don't know how to begin. Well, in this video, I'm going to share five tips that will help you to prepare for your next red carpet show. So stick around. Hi, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Simi Williams, a media personality, red carpet host and video content creator. In this video, I'm going to share five tips to prepare for your next red carpet event. The first thing you need to do, if this is you, is to have a chat with the organizers. I know that in your excitement, you may forget or you may discount the importance of having a conversation with those who have contracted you, but do not skip this step because it's going to set the tone for your preparation and how ready you are for this show. Okay. So in your meeting with the organizers, you want to ask them what they know in your meeting with the organizers, you want to ask them. So people do this mistake, you see, ask it ask. You need to get their vision for the red carpet because before anybody contracts you for a job, they already have a, an idea in their, in their mind of what they want the show to look like. So you want to, of course, key into that to prepare your scripts, you know, get yourself ready for the big day. What is the theme of your show? Where is this event taking place? Who are the people coming? Who are, who are you expecting? Are we going to have dignitaries there? Are we going to have uh, important personalities there? Are we going to have political figures there? Right? Because if you be having these people there, you need to know who they are before they walk on the red carpet. It is very professional to see someone approaching your carpet and you're having to ask the person close to you that, who, who is that? Like, because you don't know who they are, right? But right before the D-Day, you need to have like probably a list of likely personalities that will be joining you on the red carpet so you can read up on them and this will aid you to know what to ask and what not to ask so you do not commit a faux pas. So the next thing you want to do if you're getting ready for your next red carpet event is to watch loads of videos on you know how to host a red carpet show. If this is something you would like to see, if you'd like me to do like an actual video of me hosting a, a show i'll be glad to do that just drop this comment in the comment section below and say kindly do a video you know a full video of you hosting a pseudo event so to say and i'll be glad to do that for you okay seeing john red carpet event red carpet shows look at mannerisms look at the questions they're asking look at um what to do or what not to do so that you you are prepared so that you can go there mentally before you go there physically because when you have not gone mentally you really cannot go physically so to, from the days leading up to the event you need to have started preparing in your mind what that day is going to look like so what you're doing is you're visualizing the more you focus on pictures um that, that depict the day you're trying to have the more you embody that character before the d-day right so one of the ways that we really fast forward this process is if you can script what you are going to say on the D-Day. And we're talking about your intro, your, um, your transitions, and then your outro. Okay. Your intro has to have like about five components where you are, what you're doing, your name, what people should look forward to. I, I know what, I don't want this video to be longer than necessary. I'm going in another video, I'm going to talk about how to craft the perfect intro for your red carpet event. If you like to see this as well, let me know in the comment section and I will totally do that for you. But you need to have a script. <laughs> you cannot wing it, you can try, but professionals who watch will be like, ah, she's winging it, she's not prepared. We don't want to look like a newbie or a total amateur on that stage or on that carpet. We need to know that you know what you're doing, okay? So instead of winging it or trying to be extemporaneous, it's always better to be prepared when you're prepared it helps your confidence level because you know that you know what you're talking about once your script is ready you want to get your outfit ready yeah a very important aspect of preparing for a red carpet event is your outfit when it comes to red carpet shows appearances is everything is it are now appearances are everything your appearance is everything it's more like it okay you need to look dapper, all right? You need to represent. 
because you're not only representing your brand, you're representing the, co the client or whoever contracted you for the job, you are representing them. So you wanna, you wanna turn up and keep it 10 over 10. If you're wearing a gown, if you're wearing a suit, if you're wearing a, a jean or an, a t-shirt, it needs to be prim and proper. You know, elegant, beautiful, classy and all that. Okay, less is more. I know that the rave nowadays is to walk up, to show up on the red carpet with your boobs out and your legs out and everything. I don't know about that, but I mean, <laughs> call me conservative or nothing or anything like that. I'm all for covering up yourself. Like, what are you doing showcasing your assets on the red carpet? Are you trying to get a suit or something? Are you trying to sell something? What are you trying to sell to us? Okay. We just need you to talk to our uh, guests on the carpet. Why you, why you need to open your boobs or whatnot? I don't see the point in doing that. But that's just me. So look good. You can show up on the red carpet in rags and have the total confidence of a baddie and win the hearts of everyone that comes on the carpet. Because at, the, because at the end of the day, it is your energy, it is your aura, it is your vibe that you are relating to, okay? So you need to keep your vibe like 10 over 10. If you're nervous, Going to the mirror, going to the bathroom or something. This is what I do. I go into the bathroom of that event center. I look at myself in the mirror. I look at how beautiful I am with my makeup, my hair, and all. I'm like, mm, girl, you got this. Okay. <laughs> I recite my lines as well. I read my lines over and over and over again. And uh, after psyching myself up, you know, I step out. I go chat to the crew members. I was someone like me, I'm introverted, you be shocked. I do not like talking to people, right? But this is my job and I want to have a great time. I want everyone around me to have a great time. So I have to do what I got to do. So I talk to the crew members, I get to know them, we chat, we are relaxed. And the reason we are doing this is so that we can have a cohesive experience through and through. You don't want to get into a space and you're like all style towards each other. You don't even know the name of a cameraman. Makes zero sense. So you want to chat with the crew members and just get to know them, you know, establish a connection with them because you're going to be working together. I want to ensure that there is no tension in the air. You guys are cool. You love each other's faces. <laughs> be nice. Okay. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Nice. Be nice. And that's it. And last but not least, have fun. Do not forget to have fun on the carpet because yeah, it may be a show and it's a serious business, but at the same time, it's uh it's you having an opportunity to chat to people you've never chatted with before all right this has really helped me to step out of my shell because now i'm talking to strangers i've never met strangers who are cool who are dapper looking who are who may be richer than me but right there and there we don't know about that i'm there to do my job and i'm gonna have fun and until i have fun and when you're having fun your guests are having fun as well. That is one thing I need, to, I need you to have at the back of your mind. In every of my video, I always wrap it up with do not forget to have fun. When you're having fun, the nerves disappear. If you'd like to see more of this content, do well to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. If there's any question you have around, you know, hosting events, maybe on radio, on TV or live shows, you can drop a questions in the comment section and I'll be, you know, answering that in my next my subsequent videos all right so my people au revoir merci beaucoup bye bye <laughs>